just like the reading? Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, the people saw that Moses was taking a long time coming down from the mountain. So the people gathered around Aaron and said to him, Get up, make for us a God who will go ahead of us. Because we do not know what has happened to this Moses, the man who led us up out of the land of Egypt. At this, Aaron said to them, Take the gold earrings from your ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people began taking off the gold earrings that were in their ears and bringing them to Aaron. Then he took the gold from them, and he formed it with an engraving tool and made it into a statue of a calf. They began to say, This is your God, O Israel, who led you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before them. Then Aaron called out, There is a festival to Jehovah tomorrow. So they got up early on the next day and began offering up burnt offerings and presenting communion sacrifices. After that, after that, the people sat down to eat and drink. Then they got up to have a good time. Jehovah now said to Moses, Go, descend because your people, whom you led up out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They have quickly deviated from my way. I commanded them to go. They have made for themselves a statue of a calf, and they keep bowing down to it and sacrificing to it, saying, This is your God, O Israel, who led you out of the land of Egypt. Jehovah went on to say to Moses, I have seen that this is an obstinate people, so now let me be, and I will exterminate them in my burning anger, and let me make a great nation for me instead. Then Moses appealed to Jehovah his God and said, Why, O Jehovah, should you turn your burning anger against your people after bringing them up out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say he had evil intentions when he led them out? He wanted to kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the surface of the earth. Turn from your burning anger and reconsider your decision to bring this calamity on your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, to whom you swore by yourself and said, I will multiply your offspring like the stars of the heavens, and I will give all this land that I have designated to your offspring, so that they may take it as a permanent possession. So Jehovah began to reconsider the calamity that he had spoken to bringing on his people. Okay, the next thing. 